Now, a new series of outdoor artworks is adding splashes of colour to Portsmouth's ever-growing street art scenes. Pelicans, pigeons and even peeking eyes are just some of the things that can be seen on walls and buildings right across the city. Well, street art is seen as a way to channel creativity and brighten up drab or run-down areas, but does it always succeed? Derek Johnson has been finding out more. These boards outside Hilsey Lido are being transformed by people such as Rue Abrook, whose striking portraits of women can be seen in galleries and on street walls. I think it's quite good that it's transient. I think that's one of the things that's outside, it's in public view, it's probably going to get changed and artists will come back and do new work and it keeps people growing. The project, funded by levelling up money, showcases work by well-known names such as My Dog Size, whose distinctive work can be seen in many public spaces, as can huge murals by other artists. This is the Pelican. And here is the city map in South Sea. We don't just get figures from history. Mary Costa has been honoured with this painting on a wall outside Portsmouth University. You're right, it is an honour. I still can't believe I was chosen and don't really understand it because I'm just an ordinary person. The real thing about street art in Portsmouth is that it's only when you go looking for it that you realise it's absolutely everywhere. Really, this is people communicating uh, and, and placemaking, you know, and creating an identity for themselves and their their city. Creatives want to express themselves, and with this particular culture, they do it on walls. It just seems to be there's an awful lot of us here creating a big scene. So there's street artists, graffiti artists, sticker artists everything. There's a very, very big creative scene in Portsmouth in general, to be honest. One reason why the scene is flourishing is that places such as this alleyway in Fratton Park have been given over to artists, allowing them free expression. But graffiti in particular does divide opinion. When's it art? And when's it just a mess? Yeah, I think it adds a bit of colour. I think it's quite nice, but yeah, sometimes it can be a bit distasteful, I guess. There are some areas that need a little bit more extra work, but I think it's doing a lot considering how empty the area is at the moment. I think it's a bit depressing, to be honest, sir. Thank you very much. What we don't want is people just casually scribbling their names on stuff, what we call casual tagging. That's not to be encouraged, and it does create a bit of an eyesore. When it's got artistic value behind it, and it's planned, and it's organised, and it's done in the right way, look at the result that you can have. This is lifting the city, it's making it feel loved, and it's adding to our sense of community. Some people might think this is vandalism, but I would argue there are lots of urban spaces that are disused or neglected, and street art can be a way of really brightening it up and making it sort of very cultural rather than just having these, these bare walls. And it's everywhere vibrant. Sometimes I wonder what are they trying to say, but then I'm not an artist, so I don't have to understand it. And you're part of that now? <laughs> By default, yes. <laughs> yes. The fine images on the rough hoardings will one day disappear as fast as they sprang up. Street art, like the streets themselves, changes all the time. Derek Johnson, ITV News, Portsmouth. I think I changed my mind during the course of that report. Go on, Because then. before, I thought sometimes it does look a bit messy, but yeah. some of those are just really, really good. And Marie Costa's my friend there. Who oh, was OK, so that's, the, that's why. <laughs> I'm not but an artist is, either, Marie, but I like how it looks. I mean, it's always a bit subjective, isn't it? But I think, you know, I agree, if it's giving an area an identity yeah. and it's done in the right way, and in the right place at the right up. time, yeah, why not? Yeah, it's good. Yeah. Like it. There's some bare walls in here, maybe we could have a go. Maybe not. Let's get a check on the weather forecast instead. With the details for us this evening, here's Shireen Jordan.